What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Show, where I, Graham G.S. and Matthews, break down all the original content they watch on the WWE Network and on Peacock. And today we're talking the October 7th, 2023 edition of the SmackDown Lowdown. Matt Camp, Jackie Redmond, or rather Megan Morant in the studio, uh, breaking down the final SmackDown before Fastlane. A little bit later on tonight, they run down the biggest headlines from the show, including recapping the Charlotte Flair and Asuka tag team win over Damage Control's Bailey and EO Sky. Uh, we hear from Asuka backstage with not Kathy Kelly. It might have been Jackie Redmond. I forgot who interviewed her. It might have been Caleb Braxton. Um, either way, I know Jackie Redmond's on Raw, but for whatever reason, I thought I saw her here in a backstage segment. But regardless, they ask Asuka your thoughts on kind of uh, the teasing of tension uh, with uh, Charlotte during SmackDown and the falling out that you guys had following your match, or during the match even, even though they won the match. And she responds in Japanese. And she basically just said, I'm taking back my title to the pay-per-view. Io interrupts her, also speaks Japanese. They exchange words in Japanese. Io walks off. Asuka looks at the camera and says, no one is ready for Asuka. So, more of nothing here from Asuka. I love Asuka, but the thing is that all of her promos are in Japanese, and unlike with Nakamura on Raw right now, they're not giving any subtitles. I mean, you know she can speak English. They just don't have her speak English, and when they do, they have her ramble and scream and whatever, like a lunatic. I just, I don't know, I, that got tired for me a long time ago, that got very tiresome uh, many years ago, so to continue doing it for me is just a waste, um, I just, I, at least in my opinion, but anyway, she just says no one's ready for her, and that was it, so back in the studio, they preview the triple threat for the WWE Women's Championship coming up fast lane, they also talk the Triple H appearance on SmackDown season premiere next week, what that could entail, I don't know, I mean, I've seen some people say maybe a War Games announcement, he just doesn't show up to announce war games. That's something that you do randomly and spontaneously. You don't hype up that Triple H is going to announce war games. I know William Regal works there now. He can't appear on TV, I think, for the rest of the year. So you're going to have to wait until next year for that. Um, I don't know what exactly he's around for, but I'm looking forward to it. They replay the Dragon Lee-Austin Theory match, won by Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee's first win on SmackDown, his first match on SmackDown as well. Uh, Matt Cam says that Dragon Lee has made the most of his spotlight so far, whether it be on Raw, SmackDown, or NXT as of late. And he also emphasizes that Ray called him the future of Lucha Libre. Now, Dragon Lee is not teaming as they originally thought with, I mean, I, I mentioned Carlito. I didn't think they would actually do it. It's definitely Carlito tonight. But Dragon's not teaming with Ray and Santos at the pay-per-view tonight against Bobby Lashley and the Prophets. I thought, especially after hearing the commentary team talk about how Ray called Dragon Lee the future of Lucha Libre, and this was before Ray had said he was making a phone call, which at that point, that kind of eliminated Dragon Lee. I mean, to me, it made the most sense for him to be in that match because Santos will grow jealous of Dragon Lee because Ray is kind of calling Dragon Lee the future of Lucha Libre and not Santos. I'm sure we will get back to that, but I thought that was interesting and the fact they keep emphasizing it is definitely not a coincidence. Uh, speaking of Bobby and Ray, they recap the Bobby Lashley win over Rey Mysterio. We hear, we hear from Rey Mysterio following the matchup. We hear from the LWO almost every fucking week here on the show. I like the LWO, but they don't need to be on every episode of the SmackDown Lowdown. He just says that he put out feelers for who their partner could be. He said on SmackDown he made a phone call, so I don't know who feelers, but like what feelers there would be for whatever this fucking person is. It's clearly Carlito, like I said earlier. Uh, Zelina says that she would get in there if she could, but it's a six-man tag team match and she can't. And Escobar says that it's gotten personal between the two trios heading into the fast lane pay per view tonight. Uh, Matt Cam says that Bobby and the Prophets are a force to be reckoned with, and I hope they win. He doesn't say this, I'm saying this. I hope they win tonight. I mean, you can't establish them as a credible heel trio if they lose their first match in, in six man tag team action. That just doesn't make sense. Um, they hype up the Roman Reigns return for the SmackDown season premiere next week. They also recap LA Knight versus Jimmy Uso in the main event of SmackDown, all the post match chaos with Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso making the save for Knight and Cena and uh, you know, laying out the Judgment Day and the Bloodline and whoever else was out there. We hear from LA Knight at the end of the episode here. He talks about Paul Heyman praising him and recaps what happened at the end of the night, what I just said. Uh, he doesn't really say anything out of the ordinary. It was a typical, entertaining LA Knight promo. Anything the guy says is entertaining, even if it's not overly eventful like this was, because this wasn't overly eventful is what I mean. He just basically promised to win of the pay-per-view, and that was it. And then to close out the show, they run down the fast lane card for tonight, and that was it. So uh, that was all for the October 7, 2023 edition of the SmackDown Lowdown. 
pretty ho-hum, basic go-home edition of the SmackDown Lowdown before the pay-per-view tonight. Appreciate you checking out my last-minute thoughts on the pay-per-view, or rather, on this show, before the pay-per-view kicks in in just a few hours. Uh, be sure to like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Have an awesome one, guys. Enjoy Fastlane. I'm Graham Gs and Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.